Annotating and editing existing symbols that you've already brought into your AutoCAD electrical drawings is very, very easy. We've got Project Demo 12 and we're still in the drawing Demo02.dwg. And you'll recognise the pilot light that we brought in earlier. Now it's very obvious to see it's a pilot light because it's got the pilot light symbol. It's got LT102, LT meaning light. The R in the centre indicates that it's a red pilot light. Now I can edit this component and I can edit the annotation that appears next to this particular component as well. All I do is I select the component like so and I then right click and I get this wonderful shortcut menu available only in AutoCAD Electrical you'll notice. It also appears in another Autodesk product though, Autodesk Inventor which is where it came from. Now this is a really neat tool because I can go to any of these and just swing my mouse around and pick what I want to do. So I want to edit component. Now you'll recognize this dialog box from where we originally inserted the component. Now I can change the component tag, so I'm going to change that there. Instead of 102, I want that to start at 500, and I might give it a description. So it might be something like P light, and then we'll put as line 2, red. So I've changed the component tag, which is all to do with the database and the actual component listed in the database. These descriptions here are text fields, text attributes that apply to that particular component. Because I've got LT500 in the AutoCAD Electrical Project database, those two lines of text or description fields relate to that particular component. So when I click on OK now, what will happen is that will change and you can see look, there's the actual descriptions there. Now they're in a bit of a weird place, no problem at all. Let's just quickly select that again right click and go down to attributes and I can move attributes that apply to that component symbol. Click on move attribute, I select P light and red, you'll see the little box go around them. I then press enter to confirm and it asks for a base point. So it's just like the move command. So I now pick a base point on say P light there, drag those over to here, just click again, nice and neatly placed, hit escape to cancel, there is my editing and annotating a component that you've already added to an AutoCAD electrical drawing.